Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to import and export FBX, OBJ and STL files in Blender. So let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, you'll see I have Suzanne resting on a plane here. This is just for an example. You obviously, if you're watching this video, you definitely have your own model that you would like to export. And in preparing our model, what I mean by preparing our model, we need to apply the modifiers that we've added to any of our models for them to export 100% correctly. And we also need to make sure that all their scales and everything is applied. So I'm going to click on Suzanne here. You'll see she has a level 2 subdivision surface modifier enabled. I'm just going to click here and I'm going to apply it. And then I'm going to press Control A and all transforms. And then set origin, origin to geometry. And I'm going to do the same for the plane. Just apply all the modifiers and then Control A, all transforms, set origin origin to geometry. Now our models are ready to be exported. Okay, to export these two objects is going to be relatively the same process for each file type. So we're going to select both and we're going to deselect the light there. And we're going to go into file, export and then we're going to click on the first, first option which is FBX. Now if you have any textures enabled on your on your object you'll see I already have copy enabled here at the path mode and I've clicked this little embed textures thing here that will just embed all your textures into this FBX model but just keep in mind Blender is not really good at exporting textures in any file type and it would be most advisable to have image textures for your models if you're going to use it in any other software such as Unity oops, ZBrush or any other software that you might use it in so we're gonna pick also so limit to selected objects so that only Suzanne and the plane gets exported and then obviously you're going to choose a file location for where you want this to be exported to and then once all of this is enabled you can also say apply transform obviously we did that before doing this but this will just make sure that all of that is enabled and then export FBX and now your FBX file should be exported and I'll show you the same exact process for the OBJ as well as the FBX let's just select these two objects again go export and we're going to select Wavefront OBJ. You can also use the new Wavefront OBJ experimental version, but for now we're just going to stick to the legacy method here, and we're going to limit to selection only. You'll see here is the path mode, and we'll use copy, and then you can just say export. So there's a little bit of a difference here, a bit less options than the FBX model, but still pretty straightforward. Export OBJ, and your file should now be in the file you specified it to be in. And then for the STL, exactly the same thing. Go to Export, STL, and we'll just include selection only. Batch mode is object, and you can just say Export STL. And that is obviously for 3D printing. And there is a little bit more things that you need to consider with an STL because it is being printed with real-world parameters so you would need to make sure that your model is optimized for that but that is how you would export the STL as well. So now let's get into how you would import your models back into Blender. Okay guys, importing is actually easier than exporting even though exporting is already quite easy. We're going to go to file here and then import and then you can just select the one that you want. So I'm going to go with the Wavefront OBJ first and you'll see that I actually just organized my files a little bit better and here is the OBJ of Suzanne that I exported and I'll select it and I'll just say import OBJ and momentarily my object will appear here. There it is exactly as we exported it so the export was successful so we can delete this one and do the same for the FBX and there is our FBX model, so I'm going to select it and import. Now let's see what happens. There is our model, also exactly the same, looks perfect, and that was successful. So now let's see what has happened to the STL. File, import, STL, and there is our STL Suzanne. It is important to note that with STL, each of the objects actually gets exported individually, so you will have to import Suzanne plane or Suzanne, Suzanne, whatever you have named your objects here, 
because that one export will export a few individual objects depending on how many objects you actually have selected in your scene but uh, as you can see it still comes out rather good because of an S2L being used for 3D printing it can't necessarily work with two objects that are not conjoined so it's very important if you want them to be joined that you actually join your objects before exporting them and I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's a very simple concept but it's one we learn usually too late in our 3d journeys so i hope this is something that is useful to you i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave a like leave a comment and subscribe so that you don't miss any informational upcoming videos